Hi, welcome back to another video. If you didn't see my last video, I got mod. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a level request video. I've been planning to do these for a while anyways, but I guess now is a good time. The form is in my Discord server, which will be linked in the description if you want to request a level to me. So the first level is Dream Party by Parzival Games. I like the colors. I like the how it like sticks to blue but has like a lot of variation in the like shades of blue. Pretty nice color scheme. Gameplay's a bit rough. But that could just be me being bad. This glow gradient on the right is like really choppy. Like it could be a lot smoother, but that's just a minor thing. <laughs> Very nitpicky. And so far we're almost 40% into the level and the level hasn't really changed up. Yeah, let's change up a little here. Like, this pulse is really nice. Also, this flow gameplay is a lot better than the timing based gameplay at the beginning. I say as I died to a timing. One thing that really stands out to me with this level is like how all the structures are very rectangular. There's not a whole lot of variation in them. Like having the normal structures like this and having the outline structures, that's a cool bit of variation, but it could have been expanded on a lot more than it is, because it gets a bit repetitive <laughs> when the end screen is all weird. Uh-oh. Yeah, overall, this level's pretty alright. It seems to drop a bit in quality as it goes on. Like, I'm a huge fan of this background and, like, these colors, but then it doesn't expand on this idea too much. It just sticks to the same, like, colors and same, like, formula for structures. And the gameplay is a bit awkward. But it's, like, pretty alright. Just could use a lot of work. The next level I'll be playing is Zunda by Aelin, if I said that right. <laughs> Using a water flame song. Kind of Rob Top style, that makes sense. <laughs> These are some really interesting colors. This is kind of cool. It's the same issue as the last level. All the structures are, like, very repetitive. Like, this part is entirely three wide structures. Just copy and pasted. Kind of nine circle-y effect. Pretty interesting. Could use a lot more detail. And then it's using this effect from earlier. Okay. This level has a lot of like really nice ideas. Are you trying to this part? Like that type of part? But it doesn't do much with it. It has like really minimal structuring. There's no like detail in it. And the background is just animated objects. exploring those ideas a bit more and then parts like this just need a bit more variation yeah this level just lacks a bit of detail but still like really nice ideas don't get me wrong and the gameplay's fun and then the background just sort of moves off with the player yeah, it seems like this level's just a bit rushed in a lot of areas and a lot of the designs could use a lot more work but it has some very lovely ideas Keep it up. Next level is Coleslaw by Dylan Mario. Welcome to Coleslaw. This is a demon? This doesn't seem to be a demon. Those first time are just really hard. <laughs> Coleslaw. This is like messy, but in a kind of organized way. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that I should be fixed. Because <laughs> if you hit that, like... Or maybe I'm just bad. Okay. It's just a bit of a weird transition. Yeah, as I was saying, this is messy in a pretty, like, organized way. Kinda dig the style. Huh. So it doesn't really change up a whole lot. Like, there wasn't a whole lot of progression in the... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just amazed by this end screen. But yeah, this level doesn't really change up a whole lot. There's a couple weird times with the gameplay, like that one transition, early clicks, like the first couple clicks, for whatever reason. I think that is like pretty fun. And the coleslaw is like really funny. Actually wait, I lied, it does change a bit. Like it gets a bit more open and the colors change a lot. Definitely is a nine star with some of those timings. And this is neat. I kinda dig it. It's fun, has cool designs and colors. It's just there could be a bit more variation and the gameplay could be just a bit better in some places. But I think I'll send that for nine star star rate. Next is Innovation by Cassie1202. Another demon level, unfortunately. I'm really bad at this game. Please stop requesting hard levels. This is kind of neat. Ooh, okay. I was going to comment on the colors in the first part, but then it switched up to that blue and it looked really nice. I like these designs. They're pretty simple, but they get the job done. Especially with like the nice color usage. And I love... Oh, I love this. Okay, yeah. It's really picking up. 
It was kind of lacking energy in the earlier parts, but this is kind of crazy. I wish the blocks pulsed a bit though, like maybe like outline color pulses or just like more visible pulses for the insides of the blocks. And also maybe more dynamic movements. Oh yeah, like these, these are pretty dynamic. Like so stuff like that, just more like dynamic movements would really add to this, I think. It would add so much energy to this. Overall, this is kind of awesome. Fits the song pretty nicely. I haven't commented on the variation in every single level, and this level has like a lot of variation. It's really nice. You're not stuck on. <laughs> oh, that kills you. Yeah, you're not stuck on one design for too long. It's constantly switching up, which is kind of nice. The amount of variation makes it a bit inconsistent in quality. Like some parts are definitely better than others, but overall, I really enjoyed this, and the gameplay is very fun. I don't know what I was talking about here, but basically I sent the level in-game and it's in the demon system. Cool level. Here we have The End by RexDemon333. Ooh. This has some interesting designs. Very... Oh. <laughs> very glow reliant. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Could use a little less glow. Everything's a bit bright. The gameplay's a bit odd. It's like off-screen with some awkward timings. So there's like no movement here. The structure just kind of stuck there. Yeah, the monochrome color scheme is a bit interesting. I like the little touch of player color that's there. At least I'm assuming that's player color. But this level is just very, like, if you took away the glow, it'd be, like, very empty. There's not much going on in the backgrounds. And there could be more movement, in my opinion. But these designs are pretty nice. Also, I feel like the player colors could be implemented a bit more. Because, like, I really like the little touch of player color that's there. Yeah, so just, like, <laughs> just work on gameplay. Like, that transition's kind of not fun. Yeah, just work on gameplay and making more detailed backgrounds. And got a pretty solid level here. It goes from, like, really detailed parts to, like, that part. Kind of weird. But yeah, this is a pretty good start. It's just, like, you could use a lot more work. It's not bad. Okay, I'm so excited for based x -step. Holy moly. <laughs> really cool style, actually. I've seen this done before a couple times. It's still very fascinating. Yeah, this looks like one of those levels that's like limited to a certain update. I always forget which update this is, but this is very interesting so far. It's a lot of like really cool designs despite its limitations, and gameplay is surprisingly pretty sight readable. And yeah, it's really creative for such limitations. I thought it's a bit messy at times. Like parts like that, really messy. You have to go up there? Wait, that's kind of evil. There's a coin up there. Oh, what? I guess you didn't have to go up there. Yeah, this is like a really interesting take on the style. It's like very, very cluttered. And some parts look really cool with how cluttered they are, but other ones look like a bit too cluttered. Yeah, overall, I'm like pretty impressed by this because it requested 8 star and it feels maybe a bit more like a nine star to me because of just how unsight readable some of the parts are overall i really enjoy this i think that's a bit more of a nine star than an eight star just because of how hard it is to read some of the parts but overall pretty nice nothing like too mind-blowing but it's still like really interesting so i'll send that for it okay so i was doing this form random like i was using the form of my discord server link in description <laughs> and I was just doing it randomized, and I noticed a couple level names, and this is one of them. Like, I've already played this, and I even uploaded it, like, I think last year? Like, when this came out. But it's just such a good level, I'm so happy it got requested. It has such a really, really nice atmosphere. And the designs, like, just everything works together so well in this level, from what I remember. Like, this opening part is a bit, drags on a bit, but it, like, really, I don't know what the word is. It gets really, really nice later on. Even if these first few parts are a bit basic. I could look at this. Oh, I died! I'm really bad at commentating and playing levels at the same time. I don't know why I'm doing this in normal mode. This first half still has, like, really nice, like, attention to detail. Like, that little window there. I died again! <laughs> like, that window and the little, like, pulsing... And there's like subtle glow that makes things a bit like hazy, like little effects with that glow splitting. I don't know, it has very, it still has very nice progression. Like the inversion here is 
done so nicely. Yeah, like, this is just... still love this part so much. I didn't see that arrow earlier. Oops. Yeah, look, look at this! It brings back the flowers, like, just right in the designs. Oh, that's so cool. I'll definitely send that. Is it six star? Three star? Oh, it's definitely not three star. Four star is a bit better. Yay. I think I'll do a couple more levels in this video, just so I don't make the video too long. I'd love to just go all day, because there's so many requests. It's fun. Yeah, this next level is Victorionix, wait, Victor, Victorinox by Vex7. Ooh. This is building up a really nice intensity. Like, I hope there's a very good drop to this level. <laughs> I like how it's slowly incorporating more color into the level as it goes on. I was gonna comment on that. It's like black and white and then it has a bit of red. Now it has some orange and yellow. Designs are really nice. Gameplay is fun. Oh, that transition is not the greatest. <laughs> but it is okay. We move on. Love this little rainbow like interlude part. Okay, yeah. Uh, this definitely is a good drop. Huge fan of this. How about it ends? Okay. Oh, it doesn't end. I just took my hands off my mouse. <laughs> it's a bit short. I wish it didn't end like that. I wish it went on for a bit longer. But overall, I really enjoyed this. I like how it progresses. Starts off with like, not a whole lot of color, black and white. Just really good example of like, good progression in a level. I feel like backgrounds like this could have a bit more to them though. I think that's my one complaint. It's like, backgrounds make the level feel a lot empty. A lot empty? But yeah, gameplay is definitely a highlight of this level for me. Yeah, I just wish it didn't end, like, right here. Love the intensity, pretty good designs, a bit empty in parts, I think. Oh, I have a scent folder, I just- I forgot I did that. But yeah, I will- I will scent this. Okay, last one of the video will be Neon Surprise. Neon- <laughs> Neon Sunrise by Vaze. I'm sorry if I butcher your names, I am so bad at pronouncing things. Wait, I kinda dig this. Oh, I love this. The first part was a bit, like, basic, but it was kinda nice. But this is awesome. Wait, look at that, look at that, look at the portal. Wait, I love this. This uses, like, that neon theme so well. Oh, and it has, like, arrows made out of invisible slopes, but they, like, disappear. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I love the little spinning in the background. Oh, this level's awesome. Oh, I just got a key. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of this. The colors, the designs, like everything just works so well together. The last part was a bit, like the designs in the last part were a bit meh, but everything else was so good. This is a great introduction part. I love the way this level uses invisible objects, like invisible outlines like that, to just give it a little, little shimmer. It's just with like the arrows later on. Yeah, right here. Everything just matches the song so well. And the gameplay is really nice too. Yeah, the only thing I really have to complain about is like, designs in this part are a bit, like, lackluster compared to the rest of the level. They're okay, it's just like, I don't know if they really fit the level. It goes from like pretty neon glow centric designs to like just kind of generic designs. I don't know if I'd call it generic. This is awesome. No creator points. I'm gonna comment on this. And then let me send this of course for 10 star demon. No, <laughs> 6 star. Awesome. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Definitely do more of these. Like I had a lot of fun. And if you ever want to request a level, join my Discord server. It should be linked to my YouTube channel. I don't know why I'm hovering. You're on my YouTube channel right now watching this video. Just subscribe while you're down there. <laughs> we have a link in my Discord server for the form. I'll be checking it pretty frequently. Hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day.